The other day I was scrolling through YouTube and I came across this clip. You may be thinking, so what's the big deal? Well, let me tell you. This is light exerting a force onto an object. Why is that weird? Well, let's have a look at what force is. Force is mathematically defined as the change in momentum divided by the change in time, though this equation's more common form is mass times acceleration, but they're the same thing. The problem here is that light has no mass. So how can it exert a force? Well, do not worry. Me, a teenager with barely any liable physics background, is here to help. Light may have no mass, but it does have momentum. Your high school physics teacher used this equation, but there is another one hidden in relativity, right here. This is the form you'll see this equation most often in, because it is most often used to calculate the rest energy of objects. The real form looks like this. When objects are at rest, their momentum is zero, so that bit can get cut out. But we need that bit now because we need to get the momentum. We can set the mass to zero and still have a viable equation for momentum. Therefore, we can have a massless object that can have momentum as long as it has energy and therefore is able to exert a force on something. You may be thinking, okay, but why does this matter? And to that I could say, well, why does anything matter and give you an existential crisis? But instead I will give you some actual reasons. Number one, it's just cool. Number two, large stars actually rely on this quite a lot to keep themselves from collapsing for a while. This only really applies to supermassive stars though, as their cores are hotter and therefore brighter, so radiation pressure, which is the technical term for this effect, has an actual impact. Sometimes a bigger impact than the actual gas pressure itself. Number three, imagine the technological impact. You can push stuff with light. For example, you could put a reflective surface on spacecraft and have them be pushed by the sun. In fact, the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, or JAXA, has already succeeded in doing this. They sent a solar sail into space named the Interplanetary Kitecraft Accelerated by Radiation of the Sun, or Icarus. 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 That? Japan, that's pretty dark, what the hell? There are also these things called optical tweezers, which are exactly what they sound like. Very, very precise laser beams that can hold tiny, tiny things such as atoms and nanoparticles. So you can hold cells, DNA and study them, and you can even use tweezers to build materials from single molecules if you wanted to. Number four. So say you don't want to make stuff. What if you want to, I don't know, build a bomb? What you want to do is... Wait, am I allowed to give advice on how to build bombs? Probably not the best idea to give people advice on building bombs. Just make it as bright as you can to get a bigger boom. So many things you can do once you find out light has momentum. Speaking of just momentum in general, I made a video where I derived the conservation of momentum mathematically in one minute, if you'd like to watch that. 